A report published today by USA Facts shows the COVID-19 vaccines they have dramatically reduced hospitalizations among the vaccinated. That's despite the Delta variant of the virus leading to so uh, more so-called breakthrough cases. Going in depth today, Fox 13's Max Roth takes a look at how Utah numbers compare to those around the country. Max. Yeah, Bob and Kelly, you know, Utah does provide some really valuable numbers on breakthrough cases. Not all states do. And they show the same thing that Kelly just mentioned in terms of the vaccine clearly lowering cases, hospitalizations and deaths. Now, the problem is in Utah, we are under vaccinated as a state. This past Friday, 1,603 people in Utah tested positive for COVID-19. It's the highest one-day total since January 27th. 1,360 of those testing positive were not fully vaccinated. 243 were fully vaccinated in Friday's cases, about 15 percent. Despite being nearly half of Utah's overall population, vaccinated people are a tiny fraction of Utahns hospitalized with COVID-19, and they are a smaller portion of Utahns dying of COVID-19. Of those almost 1.6 million fully vaccinated Utahns, 10,318 have tested positive, 567 have been hospitalized, and 52 fully vaccinated Utahns have died of COVID. But vaccinated Utahns are worse off than and vaccinated people in other states. A new report from USA Facts uses Massachusetts as an example. They have more than two times Utah's population and three times the number of vaccinated people. Fully vaccinated residents of Massachusetts, though, are 40 percent less likely than fully vaccinated Utahns to get COVID-19. And that is because Utah has about a 48% vaccination rate right now. Massachusetts has 66%. A vaccine does help an individual, but the larger purpose is to subdue the virus in a whole population. Vaccinated individuals in Utah are less safe from COVID because more people around them are not vaccinated. Live in studio, Max Roth, Fox 13 News, Utah. <laughs>